Elsewhere in the Middle East, another power struggle is claiming lives. Mohammed Jamjoon takes us to Yemen, where an al-Qaeda affiliate is trying to assert its supremacy. And a warning, some images in this report are very graphic, and so they've been blurred. Even so, the descriptions of what occurred will be upsetting to some viewers. Crucifixion in Yemen. Shocking punishment inflicted by al-Qaeda fighters against a man they claimed was a spy for the U.S. His rotting body left hanging out in the open for days. A warning to anyone who might consider doing the same. In another video, a prisoner, bound and blindfolded, is led to a public square, convicted of spying on the terrorist group for Saudi Arabia. He is readied for execution. As the United States and as Saudi Arabia have been very, very concerned about al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula being able to sort of plot, plan, and launch attacks from their hideouts in Yemen, the Saudis and the Americans have worked together to create these uh, undercover agents. For more than a year, until June, al-Qaeda and its affiliate Ansar al-Sharia were in control of large parts of Abyan province in southern Yemen, inflicting brutal punishments on those who hadn't fled. Amnesty International says residents there experienced a human rights catastrophe. They committed uh, horrific abuses. Uh, they uh, set up courts, uh, their own courts, uh, and claimed to uh, apply uh, Islamic law. In one extremely gruesome clip, the severed head of a woman is paraded through the streets. Her crime? Sorcery. Another graphic video shows a young man accused of theft. He says he was beaten, and then... After five days, they gave me an injection, and I slept. When I woke up, my hand was not there. Here, he lies unconscious, just before a man begins to amputate his hand. Amnesty International says civilians were the victims of both sides. The, the people uh, of Abyan uh, basically uh, were subjected to repression by Ansar al-Sharia, and after that, uh, they were subjected to additional violations uh, by uh, the Yemeni government forces and Ansar al-Sharia, uh, and they were caught in the middle of this conflict. According to Amnesty International, intense aerial bombardment, as well as the use of inappropriate battlefield weapons in residential areas, further endangered a population already in peril. Eventually, Ansar al-Sharia was driven out of Abyan but few Yemenis believe it has gone away for good. Mohammed Jamjoum, CNN, Beirut. Yemen is responding to, the, to these findings. A spokesman at the embassy in Washington has told CNN the Yemeni government will carefully examine the findings of Amnesty International's most recent report. Sana continues to welcome the international community's support of the government's efforts to promote and protect human rights. This past September, President Hadi established a committee to investigate human rights violations and only a few hours ago, Yemen officially adopted the Paris Principles, which provide guidelines on the protection of children during armed conflict. Amnesty International's full report can be found on its website.